Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mr. President, distinguished members, thank you very much. Jordan treasures its long ties of friendship with this great institution, and I appreciate your invitation to speak here today. Permettez-moi aussi de remercier les citoyens de Strasbourg pour leur hospitalité chaleureuse. Cette ville représente toujours un symbole de passage de la guerre à la paix, un symbole de la réconciliation et de l'unité de l'Europe. Europe is an important partner in this effort, especially in helping to stop the global rise of Islamophobia. This poison is based on false ideas and help plays into the hands of these extremists. This is what is important to clarify, what it really means to be a Muslim. And I and countless other Muslims have been taught from our earliest years that our religion demanded respect and caring for others. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, none of you has faith until you love for your neighbor what you love for yourself. This is what it means to be a Muslim. Among the very names of God we hear, the compassionate, the all-merciful. All my life, every day, I have heard and used the greetings, Assalamu Alaikum. I wish for the other to be blessed with peace. This is what it means to be a Muslim. More than a thousand years ago, before the Geneva Conventions, Muslim soldiers were ordered not to kill a child, a woman, or an old person. Not to destroy a tree, not to harm a priest, not to destroy a church. These are the same values of Islam we were taught in school as children. Not to destroy or desecrate a place where God is worshipped. Not a mosque, not a church, not a synagogue. This, this is what it means to be a Muslim. These are the values I teach my children, and they will hand it on to theirs. History, geography, and future bind us. Let no one separate us, because together, we can create pillars of mutual respect that will support the common good for generations to come. Thank you very much.